Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fallout Shelter. I want to give you some background into what you're about to see here. So after episode 4, which is my last episode, I played for about 5 more minutes. It really wasn't that long. I tried to boost some of my, or rush some of my rooms to get more caps, and I accidentally rushed the diner. Well, I didn't mean to accidentally, I don't, I don't mean to accidentally rush the diner, but I rushed the diner and I failed. And the problem that happened was that rad roaches came out and killed everyone inside. So where I'm starting off here is basically there's about four people dead in the diner and there's rad roaches running rampant. So this is, not, I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't, this is only my fifth episode, really the third with this vault, vault 321. So I'm not really even sure what I'm supposed to do at this point because people are dying and I know I can bring them back to life by paying caps, but I need to figure out how to stop this rad roach infestation. So what I'm going to do is Uh, okay, I'm gonna start dragging everyone up here. I think that's the only way to fight p fight these things is to drag everyone in here and have them fight back. Oh yeah, the rad roaches are attacking in here. Everyone's sad. This is like really going terribly. Oh my goodness, they're they're everywhere. Yeah, this isn't this is not good at all. I think this is really the end of my vault. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Oh, now all these guys are, oops. Come on. Go to the, oh my goodness, everyone's dying. Go downstairs, fight, fight, fight. I don't want them to sit around in the diner. I want them to actually do something here. Meanwhile, I think I still have someone running around outside. They're probably dead. Let's see, exploring. Yeah, they died. See, I'm just doing terribly here. I forgot. I go out. I, I finish playing. Come on. I don't know what. I'm not sure what I'm tapping. I'm trying to zoom in on the side thing over here. They're all upset because there's dead people everywhere. All right, we have another baby. Which I don't even care about right now. Okay, let's see what's happened here. I think they stopped everything. I have corpses everywhere. I can't zoom out. I don't know what's going on here. All right, I need to figure out how to start now. So I have 18 people. Let's see. This one is dead. I'm not even sure how to get her back. So if you're watching, how would you actually, what would you do here? I'm not even sure how to continue. I can remove these people or I could revive them. This one has really good agility, so I want to revive them and I want to keep them in here. This one had really good charisma. But I'm going to remove him because, well, he has good agility too. I'm going to revive him too. These guys I'm going to just have to get rid of. Well, good agility. Dead person. Okay, so I'm in really bad shape here. I Basically what I need to do is figure out how to get people back to life and get people happy again. 23% happiness, no food. These guys have good agility, but they're not doing anything. Meanwhile, there's dead people laying here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six people in the water treatment room. But I need more. Oh, there's a boy there. <laughs> I need more people up here. Strength. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing job stuff again. So this person's in the restaurant. That's good. The top person. Endurance. Oops. They're in the med bay, which is fine. Power generator, that's good. Number three, David Baker. Zero percent happiness. They're probably going to wind up leaving. Strength is in the power generator room. That's good. Water treatment. Let's see. Jack Curtis. Water treatment. 
child med bay intelligence person is in the med bay okay I think this is okay for now but I'm honestly not sure what to do next so I have a lot of dead people no one's showing up to help I have no caps low water supply low food supply these guys are going really slow here so let's see what I can do I need to collect 100 food, collect 3 outfits, raise the happiness of one dweller to 100%. I have no idea how to do that one. Alright, here we go with water. So, I have 4 dead people here. And I really need... Oops. No, I don't want to read. I have to figure out how to bring people's happiness back up. So she's not doing anything up here. She has good agility, so she's going to go down here and help with food. This person has decent agility, so she's going to work in there too, because we need food too. 24 seconds for food. So like I said, if you're watching, how do you raise people's happiness levels? Because I'm not doing a very good job here. I'd like to rush some rooms, but I don't want to have that happen again. I'm getting a little skittish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find someone to send outside to do some um, do some exploring. I might be able to get some. Oh, this person. Oh, this is a dead person, right? Yeah, she found 191 caps, so it's almost like worth it to revive her. It's like a good investment to to revive her because. Reviving her, can I, she actually has more caps than she left, than it costs to revive her. Janet Smith, I'm going to send her out. She has decent luck. I'll give her a stim pack. Let me see what clothes I have. I have no clothes and no, and no uh, weapons, so I'm just going to send her out like that. About a 19% happiness level. What is this one doing? She has good charisma, which is great, but I'm going to need her to do some work. I'm going to send her down to the room that requires strength. Yeah, I'm at 18% happiness here, and I'm not sure how to make it better. Okay, so I had upgraded the restaurant, and so now I get 22 food every every period, which is good. Better than what I was getting before, which was 18. I upgraded the power generator room, I think. Let me assume. I'm not sure. Level that one up. Yeah, I'm at a really bad place here. I know I can get more caps by um, by rushing, but I'm afraid to rush now. So I'm not sure how to what to do here. Meanwhile, it's weird. These people are just kind of sitting around. There's two dead people in here. This one has good agility, so I want to keep him. I can't click on her. Okay, these guys are working on stim packs, but I'm not even sure if that's really going to help right now. I'm going to let him stay there, but I think I'm going to move her to help out with the food situation. Alright, the water is getting to be okay now. Alright, food. I got 100 food, so I got some caps. So let's see what my next... See, all these are caps. That's such a pain. Successfully extinguish one vault fire. Well, I've done that a lot already. Raise the happiness of one dweller to 100%. I don't know how I'm going to do that. So let me see how our friend outside is doing. No, not that one. Yeah, she's getting radiated, and I need to start. I need to upgrade. I need to start building um, the next room. 
Let me see where that is. The next room is the science lab, and I need 400 caps for that one. But I can start getting rad away, and that'll help me heal heal the radiation for my guys. It's going to take forever. <laughs> Uh, this one's doing okay right now. I'm going to keep an eye on her, though. So let's see what this is doing. All right, one minute for more food. The good thing is with people dead is that uh, I don't need as much food. I just don't know how to make people happier. I bet. Let me look at the rooms here. Radio studio. Not sure what that does. Weight room. I bet that'll help make people happier. All these weight rooms and athletic rooms, armory, classroom, fitness room, lounge, game room, garden. Well, yeah, I need to really build my base up a little bit more. I wish more people would come in. So let's see what she's doing. Bloat fly. I'm going to let her go a little longer. Maybe she'll find some caps. I have a feeling I'm going to just have to rush a room here. Maybe find the one that has the least um, chance of something bad happening. There, we actually have food now. So maybe people will start getting happier. Let's see what this one is. 33% to rush this room. 33% for this room. I don't want to rush this now because there's only 10 seconds left. Okay. 27%. Alright, I'm going to try this room. I will get 27 caps and 74 experience points if I rush. Oh, good. So that gives me food, which is helpful. Alright, let me see what this person's doing outside. She's doing okay, so I'm going to let her keep going. I'm going to rush the water treatment room. These guys look very unhappy. I'm going to wait until after until after the time timer runs out. I think the people will become more happier more happy if the stats on top aren't red. No, it's almost there. So let's see. If I rush this room, thirty three percent, I'm gonna have to risk it. Oh please, please, please. Oh I have three hundred and twenty three caps. I don't know oh no. This is so bad. What do I have here? Fire? Go down and help. Go down and help. Go down and help. Oh my goodness. Oh good. It's done. And I got caps for that too. Alright, she can go back up. Alright, so I have 350 caps, so let's do this. I'm going to look at this first person. Well, let's see what she's doing. All right, she's still all right. I'm going to go to the other one. This one died. She has 190 caps, so I'm going to revive her for 146 caps and then bring her back. Now I have 204 left, so let's see. This one has good agility. I'm going to revive him. How many more do I have dead here? Just two, I think. Should say there's a status on the side here. Dead. Okay, Sarah Ward is dead. Laura Payne is dead. And that's it. So I'm getting getting back there. Unfortunately I still need more water. Oh good, the food food bay is doing better now. Look at that. 
All of a sudden, I'm getting lots of food here. Three outfits. I don't even know how to get outfits besides exploring. All right, let's see how our other explorer is doing. I'll let her continue a little bit, but I'm gonna. I want to bring her back, especially before I end this episode. These guys are busy making stim packs. Which is helpful. But like I said, I really need to start a science bay. So I can um so I can start oh, I'm sorry, I have a yeah, a science bay so I can start making um what's it called? Uh or right away. Right, these people are leveling up. I'm not even sure honestly what that does, but I guess that's good. Let's see how the water treatment plant's doing. Okay, a minute and 18, a minute and, sorry, 20 something seconds for that to go. It's so funny, these people are leveling up, but I'm not even sure really what's going on here. This guy's level 9. It's very unhappy though. I want to see that one person come back because then I can get her her stuff. Oh, she's returning to the vault in 50 minutes. Let's see how the other explorer is doing. I'll let her go a little longer. How long have I been doing this video? Oh, it's getting a little long. Okay, so I'm gonna return her. I'm gonna return her now, and I'm gonna end this episode. So here we go. Some more stuff. Thank you for watching. Um, oh, look, I got a lot of caps now. So I'm gonna re I'm gonna bring these two back to life before I end this episode. Let's see. Dead. Revive. Dead. Revive. Alright, perfect. So what does she have? Alright. I'm going to add one more person to the water treatment room. Maybe that'll help. And then I'm, like I said, now I'm ending this episode. So thank you for watching. I have everyone back to life now. Um, the happiness level is going up a little bit. 15%. It was 10 and hopefully in the next episode I'll be able to get these guys happier and hopefully start collecting more stuff from the outside. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.